Hello, everyone. Welcome to the glory room. I'm Prophet Lou. Before we get started, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Thank you for life, health, and strength. We thank you for loving us and taking care of us. We thank you for sending your son down here to die for our sins. Father God, we ask you right now to, to help us get through our, our day. We ask you to give us wisdom and knowledge as we partake in your devotional. Father God, whether it's this devotional or your word, we ask you to give us understanding. Father God, we ask you to help us to be more like you and less like our fleshly ways. Father God, we ask you to give us a fire to understand you father god father god we ask you to bless the people that are reading it and bless the people that are hearing it in jesus mighty name amen key verse of the day is john 8 and 47 whoever is of god hears the word of god the reason why you do not hear them is that you are not of god subject turn off the noise christian truths i'm gonna say it and pause on each one to give you opportunity to say it I'm hearing the voice of God. I'm turn, tuning my ears to God. I'm holding on to God's strength. I'm focused on my God. Who is controlling you? A lot of times we are controlled by our beliefs, by people, by news, by the influencers. We are controlled by so much that sometimes we don't even hear our own thoughts. Do you hear your thoughts over everything else? Do you hear the vo Lord's voice over everything? Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice. When we follow Christ, it's so easy to hear his voice and follow his will. A lot of times we lack in hearing him because we don't connect with him. When we have friends and we don't call and we don't text and we just don't reach out at all, their relationship becomes dull and dry because we aren't nurturing our relationship with them. But we must understand in a relationship, when we don't communicate, we can't expect it to live. We have to learn to prioritize our time. John 8 and 47, whoever is of God hears the words of God. The reason why you do not hear them is that you are not of God. This verse tells us that we must hear the voice of God. And when we do, we will hear the words of God, not the radio, not Spotify, not our family, but we will hear him if we are of him. The reason why we can't hear him is because our relationship has died. It's dry. It's not strong. We have to learn to place our trust in him and communicate with him at all times. Have you ever seen a tree that's dry or a plant that's dry with the stems with, with the stems become fragile and brown because it's not getting any attention such as water fertilizer and sun but when you see a person that truly cares about plants they water it and they do all the necessary steps to take care of that plant are you taking taking the necessary steps to see about your relationship with christ are you trying to hear him over what's going on around you luke eleven twenty eight. but he said blessed blessed rather are those who hear the word of god and keep it we are blessed when we hear the word of god and keep it we can listen to a hundred hours of words. We can go to every seminar. We can do everything to have the word of God poured into us. But if we aren't keeping it in meaningless and pointless tasks, we have to learn to keep it and wait for the voice of God to speak. I remember when I was younger, my mom would tell my sister and me to go to bed over and over. But when we come to, the, when she came to the door that last time, she said, I'm going to send your dad. I knew it was over with. Because I knew she was going to send him and he wasn't going to play. Then I heard her. Then and only then I took what she said seriously and I did what I was told. God is speaking to us today and some of us ignore him because we feel that we can continue to get away with everything that and that's there's no punishment. But grace is here. But when we don't keep and hear the word of God, we will be punished. It will be followed by the love of God because he loves us. But he Discipline those he loves. He's going to discipline us because he knows we can do better. He knows we hear him and refuse to change because we are leaning on grace. Stop overusing grace and start paying attention to your relationship with Christ. Hebrews 2 and 1 says, therefore, we must pay a close attention to what we have heard. At least we drift away from it. We won't drift away when we hear the voice of God. We won't, it won't lead us away when we tune our ears to him. But we must give our ears to him and monitor what we hear because the enemy wants our ears closed. He wants us to ignore the, the voice of God so that we can, so he can help us send us away from what God has in store for us. Don't allow the enemy to speak into you the lies of the flesh. Allow your ears to hear your creator so that you can be led to the righteous life. 
today God wants you to hear him when he speaks he wants you to turn off the the the, the world or, or the road that other people have to get that's trying to get you to and allow him to be your source he wants you to hear him when he speaks start seeking God today if you don't hear him Start watering your relationship with him so that you may hear him when he speaks to you. Prayer. Heavenly Father, help us to hear you when you speak. Help us to tune out the rest of the world to hear your voice, Lord. Forgive us for anything we have done, knowing and unknowingly, Lord. We desire to hear you. We desire to be close to you. Pour into us wisdom and knowledge. Lord, we thank you for everything you have have you have given us. Lord, we we want to close our ears off from the works of this world. Lord, we give you our ears to cleanse from, for your uses. Lord, if there's anything in our life blocking our ears, please let us know so that we may change it. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Reference, John 16 and 13. When the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you in all truth. For he will not speak on his own authority, but whoever he hears, he, whoever hears, he will speak. And he will declare to you the things that come, that are to come. Isaiah 20, 30 and 21. And your ears hear, shall hear a word behind you saying, this is the way, walk in it. When you turn to the right or when you turn to the left, Isaiah 30 and 21, John 6 and 63 is the spirit who gives life. The flesh is no help at all. The words that I have spoken to you are spirit and life, John 6 and 63. Further reading, Genesis 8, 1 through 10 and 32, Matthew 4, 12 through 25, Psalms 4, 1 through 8, Proverbs 1, 20 and 23. Remember that the further reading, the reference, the memory verse, and the verse of the day are in the bio of the of the podcast. This ends, turn off the noise. I pray you all have a blessed day. Remember, Jesus loves you. I love you too. Be blessed. Thank you for listening.